in the last video lecture i had explained you the formulas of median and other positional averages that is quartiles decimals and percentiles and we had also also started exercise 3.4 question number 1 and 2 now in this video lecture i am going to explain you question number 4 and 5 of the same exercise 3.4 so let's read question number 4 that is on page number 99 of your textbook Use the following data to find the median salary of employees in a firm. Also find the lower limit for the richest 20% employees. It means two data that you have to find over here. One is median and the other one that is percentile. Okay. Now the data that has been given you in table that is salary of in thousand rupees of the employees that is given to you five or more, ten or more, fifteen or more, twenty or more, and whatever the frequency that is given to you. Number of employees that you can make out from the data that it is more than that cumulative frequency. So from more than that cumulative frequency, we have to find the original frequency. Now that students already we have learned in chapter in in uh, chapter number two that is presentation of data how to convert the more than that cumulative frequency to original frequency. Okay. So let's start with the calculation. As you can see on the board, the first column that I have written of the classes. That is the wages or the salary of the employees that is given to you in thousand rupees. Okay, uh, it is given to you five or more, ten or more, and so on. So I have taken converted that uh, five or more, ten or more into classes. That is five to ten, ten to fifteen, fifteen to twenty, twenty to twenty-five, twenty-five to thirty, and thirty to thirty-five. You can see the last one uh, data that has been given to you table that is thirty or more. So considering as equal class length. Taken the last class as 32, 35. So here you can make out five or more. Next class is given to ten or more. So considering as equal class length, I have taken the first class as five or five to ten, ten to fifteen, fifteen to twenty, twenty to twenty-five, twenty-five to thirty. And last one that is thirty or more. So equal class length is five, thirty-two, thirty-five. Okay. So in this way you have to find the classes. After finding the classes, the next one that is frequency. That we have to find out from the more than that cumulative frequency that is given to you in the question. Now, what is given the more than that cumulative frequency? The first one that is given to you one twenty, and the second one that is hundred and seventy. So one twenty minus hundred and seventy, you will get the frequency that is three. Okay. Next one that is hundred and seventy and hundred and six. So hundred and seventy minus hundred and six, you will do, you will get eleven. Then afterwards, 106 minus 76, you will get 30. Then afterwards, 76 minus 31, you will get 45. And then afterwards, 31 minus 12, you will get 19. And last 12, you have to keep as it is. Okay. So in this way, you will get the original frequency from the more than that cumulative frequency. Okay. Now after getting the original frequency, we have to find the cumulative frequency as we are always. Finding in case of median and all the uh, positional averages. Okay, so here you can see that is less than that. So first value would be as it is, that is three. Three plus eleven that would come to fourteen. Fourteen plus thirty that would come to forty-four. Forty-four plus forty-five would come to eighty-nine. Eighty-nine plus nineteen it would come to hundred and eight. Hundred and eight plus twelve it would come to one twenty. So here you can make out the total of frequency that is number of observations one twenty. And the last and the last value of the cumulative frequency should be equal. Here you can see both that is one twenty. So our our calculation for cumulative frequency that is correct. Okay. Now after finding the original frequency and the cumulative frequency, we have to find the first step that is median. Okay. So here you can see I have written median class. In the last video lecture, already explained all the formulas. So same formulas you have to apply in the sum also. That is median class is equal to n by two. In case of continuous frequency distribution, we have to apply the formula that is n by two. In case of discrete frequency distribution or raw data, we have to apply the formula that is n plus one by two. Okay. Over here it is continuous frequency distribution because the data is divided into two classes. Okay. So n by two. What is the value of n total here? That is one twenty. So one twenty divided by two is going to come to sixty year observation. Okay, now 60th observation that would come in 89. That is cumulative frequency. You have to always look in the CF. That is cumulative frequency. Okay, so 60 will come in 89. So over median class that would be 20 to 25. Okay, so here you can see I have 
second the middle class that is 20 to 25. Now we have to apply a formula to find the median. Now what is the formula to find the median? That is L plus N by 2 minus CF upon F into C. Okay. Now what will be the lower boundary point? Lower boundary point that will be of a million class that is 20. So 20 plus N by 2 already get that that is 60. So 60 minus CF. What would be the CF of the previous class of the median class? That would be 44. So 60 minus 44. And upon F, what would be the value of the frequency of the same median class? That is 45. Okay. So upon 45 into class length. Class length that would be 5. So into 5. Okay. So in this way, we have to first of all place all the data in the given formula. Now afterwards 20 plus. Now 16 minus 44 it will come to 16. 16 divided by 45 into 5. You will do that you will get 20 plus 1.78. Okay. So 20 plus 1.78 you do the total you will get the answer 21.78 thousand rupees. Because whatever the data of salary of the employees that is given to you that is in thousand rupees. So whatever the answer comes of the median or any of the value or, or, or of any of the positional averages, don't forget to put the unit. Over here the unit is thousand rupees. So I have put in the answer of the median that is thousand rupees. Okay. Next uh, value that we have to find out is of percentile. Now students it is given to you the question that is uh, also find the lower limit for the richest 20% employees. Lower limit of the 20% richest employees. So we have to find over here P80, not P20. Okay? We have to find the lower limit. That's why we have to find out the 80 P80, not P20. Lowest, lower limit of the richest 20% employees. So we have to find out over here P80. Okay. So P80 is equal to 80 into by 100. Always we are going that if it is percentile then we have to divide by 100. Okay. So 80 into by the number of observation n that is 120. 120 divided by 100. 0 is going to be cancelled. 1.2. 1.2 into 80 you will do. You will get 96 observation. Now 96 observation time will come into 108. So our class for percentile that would be 25 to 30. Okay. So here you can see I've written the percentile class that is 25 to 30. Now we have to apply the formula to find the percentile that is P80. P80 is equal to L plus 80 L by 100 minus CF upon F into C. Okay. Now what will be the lower boundary point? That is 25. So 25 plus 80 into N by 100 already we have found out that is 96. So 96 minus CF. Now what would be the CF of our class, previous class, we will take the CF that is 89. Okay, so 96 minus 89 upon F, F of the same uh, class that is 90. Okay, so 96 minus 89 upon 90 into class length that is 5. Okay, now 25 plus 96 minus 89 upon 90 into 5 you will do. You will get the calculation answer that is 1.84. By adding with it, it with 25, you will get 26.84 thousand rupees. Okay, because all the data of the classes that are given to you in uh, thousand rupees, the salary of the employees that is given to you in thousand rupees, that's why whatever the answer comes of median or of percentile, don't forget to put the unit that is thousand rupees. Okay, now after completing the fourth sum, the next question that I am doing that is the fifth sum that is also on the same page that is 99. Let us read that question first of all. The following table shows the monthly expense for entertainment in a group of 100 students. Find the median of this expense. We have to find the median of this expense. Only median has been asked over here. Now the expense that are given to you on entertainment in group of 100 students. It means there are uh, 100 students data has been given to you and how much they are spending or doing expenses on entertainment. That data is given to you. Okay. So expenses that is given to you less than 200, 200 to 400, 400 to 600, 600 to 700, 700 to 800, 800 and all. Now from the data from the table you can easily identify that there is no equal class. There is unequal class. Suppose in the first two or first that is less than 200. Then afterwards 400 to 400, 400 to 600. The class length is 
200, right? Then after 600 to 700, 700, 700 to 800, the class length is only of 100. So there is an unequal class length amongst all the classes, okay? So first of all, we have to uh, make the table that is three columns that we are making. First column that is of expenses in rupees. Now over here we can see I have written less than 200 as it is given in the question. I have not written 0 to 200 because we are not sure that uh, the lowest value is uh, that is the class length is equal. There is no equal class length. That's why we cannot consider the first value or the first class is equal to 200. Okay. So as in I have written the first class as less than 200. Then after the second class that is given to as it is I written that is 200 to 400, 400 to 600, 600 to 700, 700 to 800 and greater than or equal to 800. 800 and above. Okay. So greater than or equal to 800. So I have written as it is. I have not written the uh, first and last value in the form of classes because there is unequal class length. Okay, so we cannot assume that there is equal class length and we cannot uh, mention the first and last value in the form of classes. Okay, now after doing the first column, the second column that is of frequency that is also given to in the question that is as it is, I have placed on the board that is 8, 23, 40, 17, 7, and 5. The total of frequency that is n is equal to 100. Then after CF that you are knowing what, how to find out that is first value as it is 8, 8 plus 23, 31, 31 plus 40 that is 71, 71 plus 70, 88, 88 plus 7, 95 and 95 plus 5 that will come to 100. Again repeating the last value of unitary frequency and the total of frequency that will come to equal. Always it will come equal. Okay? Now after finding the table, or placing all the data in the table, Next, we have to find out only one thing in this question that is median. Okay? Now, what is the formula of median class that is n by 2 observation? Now, n value that we have got that is 100. Okay? So, 100 divided by 2 will come in 50th observation. Now, 50th observation that will come in the community frequency that is 71. Okay? So, our median class that will be 400 to 600. Okay? So, here you can see I have written median class 400 to 600. Uh, applying the formula of median L plus n by 2 minus C of upon F into C. Okay. What will be the lower boundary point? That is 400. So 400 plus n by 2 already we have found out that is 50. 50 minus C. Now uh, cumulative frequency of the previous class that will come to 31. Okay. So 50 minus 31 upon F frequency of the same class that will come to 40. Okay. So 50 minus 31 upon 40 into uh, sorry, class length. C means class length. Class length of our median class that is 200, 400 to 600. So the class length that will come to 200. Okay. So multiply by 200. Now applying uh, doing the subtraction, division, and multiplication. 50 minus 31 divided by 40 multiply by 200. But in this entire calculation, you will get 95. Okay. So 400 plus 95 is equal to 495. So it means the average expenses, it means the median of the expenses on entertainment by 100 students that came to 495 rupees. Okay. So in this way you have to do the calculation of the median and more important point in the fourth sum that was to find the percentile. Students, it is given to you to find the lower limit of the richest 20% employees. So we have to find P80 over here. Okay. So richest employees that will come in the uh, 80%. So 80% we have to find over here that is P80 over here. Okay. So these were the two sums that I wanted to teach you today. That's all for today students. In the next video lecture, I will be starting with the new topic that is the third uh, measure of central tendency that is more till then goodbye. Keep practicing, stay blessed.